Hello, in this video, I want to explain how you can count the number of OpenAI tokens in some text before actually sending it to the API. So what this means is that when you, whenever you're sending a request to one of the OpenAI APIs, um, the pricing is based on something called tokens. And but what I mean is that's the pricing for a thousand tokens. And now one of the drawbacks with the current system OpenAI has is that you don't know how many tokens you're gonna send it un unless you actually send it. So what I mean by that is if you, um, here is some simple code basically that will uh, basically send this exact same GVT 3.5 model and it would send this text to the model. And let's try it anyway, I'll show you what I mean. So if I log this completion, what I get back, I get this usage object back part of the response and it contains the prompt tokens, which is also the input tokens, and the completion tokens, which is what the model gave back to me. And to see the completion, it's actually in this object right here. Now, the total cost that this call would take me is calculated based on these values. Um, so, I mean, based on 12, and then it would do the calculations and calculate me based on that. Now, what if you want to calculate how much um, this would cost before you actually send it to the API. Well, I've done some researching and I found that OpenAI um, officially has some documentation on this. And they have this module called Tick Token that will automatically do this counting for you. Now, I have gone through this documentation and, and I have made a package basically that will basically count the number of OpenAI tokens. Now, under the hood, this is using a package called Tick Token, um, which is what OpenAI provides, and it's a JavaScript version of that. And how we use this package is, first of all, you can download it, and the, with this command, I'll leave the, this page in the description, so you can refer to that, but you can download this package, and once you have that package, you can import it using this import statement, and that imports our class, and once we have that, what you can do is we support actually um, counting tokens for the text, but for the chat, which is what we care about, you can use this snippet right here. So um, this message is object, right? So what you want to do is follow this separately. Um, and then, I mean, obviously you want to send this to the API, but before that, um, let's just comment this out for a sec. And instead of sending it um, instantly, what we can do is use our package to count the number of tokens. So how we do that is const um, dot. You've got to use the chat function. And And then you want to pass in the model name. And I don't know if I did this wrong, but let's just run it for a second. And you get the output 12. And that, if you look here, that's the exact same thing we got here. So now this is a way to count the exact number of tokens without even sending it to the API. So this would basically cost you nothing. This is just something that's running locally on your computer. Now, there's one drawback to this, and that's that you don't know how many tokens the response is going to take. So what I mean by that is, say I'm running this, right? So we got 12 instantly, and then we see that the completion tokens have 5. Now, there's no way to know how many tokens the response is going to take, but one thing you can do is use the max tokens plan, and now you can limit it um, to a certain amount of tokens. So you can be sure that your cost will never exceed this number of tokens, for a response. So yeah, that is how you calculate the number of tokens with the ChatGPT API. If you look here in the documentation, we have lots of model support um, with text and chat models, and we even have thoroughly tested it so that there's 100% accuracy ac um, against the OpenAI's API's actual account. And here are some other test codes that you can use as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, and I actually made this um, library, by the way. So, yeah, it is pretty popular right now with over 11,000 downloads, and I will be maintaining it 
um, in the case that there's any bugs or any issue like that. So yeah, thanks so much for watching.